yes good morning good morning and welcome to this lecture of electronics and today we are starting with the topic of flip flops i guess we have completed all the basic sorts of flip flops and uh, let me share my screen so we'll be continuing with that i guess my screen is visible is it visible oh, oh. okay yes, yes sir visible? okay myself uh, dr andy meshram head and associate professor department of electronics shri mathura das mota college of science and uh, today we are going to uh, learn more about the flip flops right so flip flops as i have already told you flip flops are uh, nothing but uh, the one bit memory cells which is uh, sequential circuits right so i have already told you what are sequential circuits and what are uh, combinational logic right so combinational circuits are uh, circuits made up of uh, say logic gates and we require some output out of it so we have some logic across it and in sequential circuits what we do we feed back the output to the input so, uh, input so that the output is also responsible for the input right yeah. and according to the output can be varied so this is the basic concept of sequential circuits we have almost completed uh basic flip flops nor and nand and we have studied the two table also d latch flip flop also we have studied and yeah so uh we have done this madam ye yaad se receive na anlaga okay so this was d latch flip flop and uh, these are some of the symbols of that and today we are going to uh, we have also completed this h figure flip flop then d flip flop and uh, yeah so today we are going to start with this uh, jk flip flop concept now what is jk flip flop jk means jack and king flip flop right and it is actually the gated uh, sr flip flop with addition of a clock input circuitry and also the feedback concept right so the now we are uh, again uh, feedbacking the output to the input so this is the basic circuit diagram of a jk flip flop and as you are able to see over here on the right hand side the diagram uh, that is actually a nand gate with three inputs right so three input nand gate we are using over here and we are also used sr flip flop using nand gate itself so we have used uh, nand gate circuit of jk flip flop now here the difference is what we have done we have again being uh, feedbacking the output uh, across this q to the uh, first and gate to the j and q bar to the k k k and input, input of the nand gate so what we have done the three inputs uh, first input is being combined and we are putting it in the gate terminal Uh, clock terminal right so we are taking it as a clock and the second input is taken as j here also the second input is taken as k i guess my cursor is uh, being visible to you and the input to the third is taken from the q whereas the input to the th second q bar is given to the k nand gate right so this is the circuit of jk flip flop and what is the resemblance and what is the use of this and on the left hand side this is the uh, symbol of jk flip flop uh, over here so we are having two inputs j and k and uh, there is the third input that is a clock and q bar and q are the outputs right so this is the truth table of jk flip flop so we are having j k q and q bar as we as we have already earlier studied if you put a clock pulse over here so if if clock is zero then the uh, j and k will be at don't care condition and the output will remain uh, no change in the no change condition right so that was the basic concept of uh, jk flip flop right so let us start with that if a uh, clock is one and j and k are zero zero so the output will be uh, no change right so this is this is not zero zero but it is actually zero and one right so it it will be no change and as you put j equal to 0 and k equal to 1 so if j equal to 1 and k, uh, sorry j equal to 0 and k equal to 1 which implies that this nand gate is not going to give output and the output of this will be equal to acha this will 
all chained together because we have used NAND gates, right? So uh, if j equal to sorry, this, yeah, so j equal to zero and k equal to one, then uh, this is equal to zero and this is equal to one. So uh, you have the basic concept of enable and disable. So uh, if NAND, if one of the input of uh, NAND gate is equal to ground, then it goes in the enable condition, right? Uh, am I right? Have, have you uh, recorded it that we have studied in the last class? Hello, am I audible? Hello? 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 Yes, sir. Am I audible? I guess it is not yes, showing sir. over there. Uh -huh. So I guess you recall that we have studied uh, NAND gate in enable condition and uh, say uh, NOR gate in disable condition. Am I right? Have you uh, have you heard that? Or yes, have sir. you uh, recalled that I guess? Pada tha kya ye humne? Nahi to bhi? NOR gate disable condition mein kab jata hai when one of the input is kept high. Whereas and NAND gate cub uh, enable condition may jata hai when one of the terminal is low. Am I right? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Aplog answer dete jao. You can text me also on this so that I would uh, I would come to know you are there. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, 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 अगर मैंने J को zero किया है और K को one किया है, right? Okay, J को zero किया है और K को high किया है. अगर ये zero हो गया, तो ये पूरा का पूरा NAND gate कौन से condition में चल जाएगा? Enable condition में चल जाएगा. So enable condition का output जो है, that is one. Okay. So यहाँ पर उसका description लिखा हुआ है. Uh, both both S and R inputs of the previous SR bicycle have now been replaced by two inputs called J and K inputs respectively. After its inventor, Jack and Kilby, right? So, ye is ke naam par diya hai, par hum log uska Jack King hi bolte hai, right? So, then this equates uh, to J equal to S and K equal to R. The two, two input AND gates of the gated SR bicycle have now been replaced by two, three input NAND gates with the third input of each gate connected to the outputs of Q and Q bar. Now, this is what the, are the nodes. So this cross coupling of the SR flip-flop allows the previously invalid condition of S equal to one and R equal to one state to be used to produce a toggle action as the two inputs are now interlocked. Now, two, kya uh, kate usko? Toggle situation jo hai, toggle matlab ek uh, input aane ke pehle hi output switch hona. That is called as toggle. So we, we will talk on that. It's a very, kya kehte hain usko, huge topic on that. So mein bata ta hoon aapko what is a toggle condition. Now if the circuit is now set, the J input is inhibited by the zero status of the Q through the lower NAND gate. If the circuit is reset, the K input is inhibited by the zero status of Q through the upper NAND gate. As Q and Q bar are always different, we can see, we can use them to control the input when both inputs J and K are equal to logic one. The uh, J, K toggles as shown in the following truth table. So, abhi main aapko wo toggle flip-flop bhi batane wala hoon. Toggle flip-flop mein ye dekho. Ye, this is actually the toggle condition when t uh, j and k are equal to one, right? So, ye nor gate se banaya hua hai, yahan ka hum log dekhte hai. So, the first condition when j equal to zero and k equal to one, ye situation mein kya hone wala hai? Uh, 
ये सिचुएशन में वेन जे इक्वल टू जीरो एंड के इक्वल टू वन तो दिस विल गो इन एनेबल कंडीशन ये एनेबल हो गया तो एस एस इक्वल टू वन हो गया ना नैन गेट से यूज करने की वजह से ये देखो ये पूरे के पूरे जो है उल्टे हो गए हैं ये क्यू बार है ये एस बार है आर बार है ऐसा हो गया तो ये वन हो गया यानी यहाँ हाई दे देंगे ये हाई देंगे तो ये लो हो जाएगा और क्यू जो है वो हाई हो जाएगा राइट तो ये हाई हो गया तो हमारा सर इनपुट हाँ हेलो सर एस आर एस और आर को ही हमने जे और के बोला है ना यहाँ पे नहीं नहीं एस और आर अलग है एस और आर अंदर लगाए हुए ये देखो एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप का ब्लॉक अलग है वो तो बाहर है ना एस बार और आर बार है ना वो नहीं 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 हाँ ये बार है राइट ये अपोजिट है क्योंकि हम लोग अरे बाबा हम लोग नैन गेट यूज कर रहे है नॉर गेट नहीं यूज कर रहे बराबर है ना तो हमने यहाँ पे एस और आर को उल्टा करके देते हम लोग हमेशा नैन गेट वाले सर्किट में इसलिए उन्होंने एस बार और आर बार लिखा है अच्छा समझ लगा ये एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप का सर्किट है ना यहाँ पे हम लोग नैन गेट यूज कर रहे हैं मीन हम लोग आर एस फ्लिप फ्लॉप कहाँ पे यूज करते हैं आर एस फ्लिप फ्लॉप हम लोग नॉर गेट से बनाकर यूज करते हैं बराबर जहाँ पे हम लोग आर और एस का सेम टर्मिनल यूज करते हैं हमने देखा है ना ये वाले सर्किट में ये वाले सर्किट बराबर है ये दिख रहा है क्या नॉर गेट का सर्किट ये सीधा सीधा काम करता है जहाँ रिसेट किया वहाँ रिसेट हो जाएगा यहाँ सेट को हाई दिया तो वहां पे सेट हाई हो जाएगा बरोबर पर ये जब हम लोग नाइन गेट में यूज करते हैं नाइन गेट का भी सर्किट है ये वाला जब हम नाइन गेट में यूज करते हैं तो ये उल्टे हो जाते हैं है ना उल्टा काम करते हैं इसीलिए अभी हम लोगों ने क्या किया है यहाँ पर आपको एस आर फ्लिप फ्लॉप एस बार आर बार लिखा हुआ मतलब जब ये जीरो देंगे तब ये काम करे एक्टिव लो हो गए ये समझ लगा दर्पण है ना तो ये वन हो गया ये जीरो हो गया ये जीरो हो गया मतलब ऑटोमेटिकली ये क्यू हाई हो गया नेगेटिव काम कर रहे हैं ना ये तो रीसेट हो गया ये ऐसा तो देखो क्यू इज इक्वल टू वन हो गया बराबर है और क्यू बार विल बी इक्वल टू जीरो सो जे को और जे को अगर हम लोगों ने वन जीरो दिया और के को अगर वन देते हैं तो ऑटोमेटिकली आउटपुट विल बी रीसेट सॉरी क्या होगा सेट होगा सॉरी राइट तो ये सेट हो जाएंगे क्योंकि उल्टा दिया है ओके और जब हम लोग ये एक्चुअली आप लोगों को ना वो उसी से पढ़ाना चाहिए नाइन गेट वाला यानी ये ब्लॉक ही नहीं दिखाना चाहिए आपको आपको सीधा सीधा वो यही दिखाना चाहिए हमारा सर्किट इसका मैंने मेरे ख्याल से इसको क्या नाम है इसका अपना नेहा नेहा को मैंने वो शेयर किया है आई गेस जस्ट गिव मी वन मोमेंट तो मैं अभी आप लोगों को 